How's it going guys? Leon here and welcome to another architectural video. So, it's your first year at architecture school and you're feeling a bit stressed out. Your hair is falling out and you have eye bags that'll make any panda jealous. Yo dude, you done with the plates? Yeah, what's up dude? Oh. Maybe you are having a hard time adjusting to this new alien environment. Don't worry, I have just the thing for you. Leon's Magic Architecture Elixir. Only 12 separate payments of 9.99. Side effects may include drowsiness, loss of hearing in the right nostril, added hair growth on your toes, and severe diarrhea. Anyway, jokes aside, first year of architecture was the hardest for me because I was still adjusting to this new landscape. So to help those of you guys who are going through the same thing I went through, I made a list of things to do in order to survive your freshman year in architecture. Particularly, how to manage your time. Tip number one, never ever procrastinate. You could tell yourself that you have a ton of time to finish that plate or scale model later. But the thing about architecture school is that the assignments sneak up on you like sneaky assignment ninjas. It's like the professors have secret meetings and collaborate with each other to give us tons of assignment at the same time on purpose. And then we are going to give them a ton of assignments at the same time. <laughs> Oh, I should have done that. Next thing you know, you have 10 plates due in 3 days and there's just no way you could finish all that. Even if you watch my architecture tips, tricks, and hacks video thingy. <laughs> Shameless plug. Anyways, here are a few tips to avoid procrastinating. Step 1. Break your big tasks into smaller, more exciting, and manageable tasks. Maybe even create a checklist of tasks and accomplishments. That way you could see your progress. So the analogy behind this is what would you rather fight? like? a thousand mouse sized elephants or one elephant sized mouse. I'm certainly not gonna fight a giant ass mouse so I'll, I'll take the thousand mouse sized elephants. Anyways, it's a lot easier to tackle tasks if you break it into smaller ones. You could also reward yourself for accomplishing parts of the tasks. That way you have something to look forward to but don't over reward yourself too much. You'll just end up procrastinating more so. Oh, thank God I'm finally done with my title block. I think I'm done with one task and I'm going to reward myself with some Netflix. Oh, yes. Eight hours later. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no, it's, it's the morning and I haven't done any of my plays. Oh. Okay, step two. Begin with your most favorite task. This way you would have enough willpower to begin the task. Or you could do the opposite of that, like starting off with your least favorite task. This way you could look forward to getting to your favorite part of the task. Try both of these tricks and stick to the one that works for you. So for me, I often start with my least favorite task to get it over with and then move on to my favorite tasks. Moving on to tip number two. Tip number two. Wake up early instead of staying up late. So this is a tip that I have learned very late in my architecture student career. So staying up late has its disadvantages. At night you're already physically and mentally tired from all the school works and you know, ghosts come out at night so yeah, you don't really want to be awake when ghosts come out and you know, you don't, you don't want to be awake when that happens. Who's that? Who's there? So ding dong, what was that sound? Okay. Enough this stuff man, I won't sleep. So what I do is before going to sleep, I prepare the things that I'm going to use like my drafting tools. I mount my plate onto the table and I tidy up my studio. This way, I feel like I've accomplished something and uh, I could sleep easier. Okay, so the minimum amount of sleep that I need is usually about 5 hours. So I make sure that I sleep for 5 hours. Then I wake up in the morning all fresh and energetic and I start doing all the tasks. This way, my mind is fresh and I've recuperated my energies and I'm at my best condition to finish my plates. Alright, let's get to the next tip. Tip number 3. On your spare time, prepare. So what I mean by this is like on your spare time, draft a bunch of title blocks on blank plates. Nothing makes me lazier than doing the title blocks on plates. So by doing this, on your spare time, you reduce the negative emotions you subconsciously have when starting a plate. Also, buy spare materials like vellum and drafting paper. There's nothing worse than making a mistake and realizing you have no more paper. Pro tip, clean your drafting area and keep it clutter-free all the time. 
you're drafting area sacred and this reduces your reasons not to start your play. Tip number four, develop an ideas folder. So what's an ideas folder? An ideas folder could be physical or digital. Basically, it's like a collection of concepts and ideas you come across on the internet or magazines or ideas you come up with gathered all into one folder. This ideas folder is what you will look into when you start a new plate or project to gain inspiration. So instead of just sitting in front of your desk or sitting in front of your blank drawing paper daydreaming, you could just look into this ideas folder and develop a design concept from your ideas folder. Tip number five, subscribe to this channel to learn hacks, tips, and tricks. <laughs> It's like shameless self-promotion everywhere in this video. Can I say that with a straight face? Okay, moving on. To summarize it all up, tip number one, never ever procrastinate. Procrastination is bad. Tip number two, wake up early instead of staying up late. Tip number three, on your spare time, prepare. And then last but not the least, tip number four, develop an ideas folder. So those are my four tips on how to survive architecture school time management edition. If you like this video, don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content like this. From me, your boy Leon. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace!